Hello fellow traders, welcome to another video on my channel Tradition Algo where I discuss about trading strategies, indicators, algo trading and trading tools. In this video, we are going to discuss about how you can backtest your expert advisor in MT4 terminal. Those who don't know what is backtesting, let me tell you the little background behind it. Backtesting is an important concept. It tells you the performance of your expert advisor over a certain period of time. So for example, if you want to find out how your EA perform, if you have put the EA two years back, then you have to backtest your expert advisor on historical data. It is not a holy grail that if your EA has performed well over a certain period of time in past, it will perform well in the future as well. But you can say it is an assumption that if it did well with a certain set of parameters in the past, there are chances that it will do the same thing for future tests as well. So in short, backtesting means you are running your expert advisor on historical data in a simulated environment. So when you run the backtest, it simulates the actual market inside MT4. You can see if you placed your EA on a particular date, when it would have taken the trades, backtesting has three main advantages. First, you can find the errors inside your expert advisor. If the expert advisor is not placing the trade as it should, then in backtest, you can easily identify that. Second is, it saves a lot of time of testing your expert advisor. If you are testing your expert advisor in live market, you have to wait a couple of months, maybe a couple of years to see how it is performing over that period. But in backtest, you can easily get a holistic idea how your EA performed during the past. So you can assume it should perform the same in the future with the same set of parameters. The third advantage is it tells you about the performance of your expert advisor. By performance, we mean how much maximum drawdown your EA has and how much profitability does your EA provide so that you can discard the EA on the first hand. So if you see your EA is not performing well, you can either correct it or you can discard it beforehand. Now, without wasting much time, now let's see how you can backtest your expert advisor in MT4 terminal. So first of all, you need to open strategy tester in MT4 terminal. For that, you have to either go to toolbar and click on this strategy tester icon, or you can go to view and click on strategy tester. When you open the strategy tester, it will ask you the expert advisor name. So in our case, we are going to test a default expert advisor provided by MT4, which is MACD sample. Next, you have to choose the symbol for which you are going to perform the backtest. Next option is the modeling. So if you want to simulate the exact market condition, you can test it with every tick data. We have other options as well, like control points and open prices only, which are significantly faster than every tick data. But for now, let us continue with every tick data. Next, we have to choose a date. Let us check on this use date option and select the current date, both the form and two fields. Now, let's say we want to test how this expert advisor performed over last three months. So we have to choose the form date three months back. So today is May 6th. Let us go to February 6th and select it in the form date. You can select the period of your back testing in this period drop down. Like if we want to test it on one minute, we have to choose one. And if you want to test it in other time frames, you have to choose that accordingly. So for now, let us test it in one hour time frame. You can select the spread of the symbol while you are performing this back test. Please remember that it will use either the current spread or a predefined spread you mentioned in this drop down come text box. So you can type here as well, or you can select the values from the drop down. So let us choose the current spread for now. 
Now let us come to the expert properties. If you click on expert properties, it will show you the inputs for that particular expert advisor. In the input section, you can see we have take profit, lots, trailing stop loss, MACD, open level, closed level, and MA trend. So as we are using MACD strategy, so it lets us choose the configuration for MACD indicator as well as some basic settings regarding the order, like take profit, trailing stop, and all. Let us not change these parameters. If you want, you can change it from here as well. But if you want to reset it with the default parameters, just click on reset. Now, during backtest, you could have find a very good settings and you want to keep that settings for your future reference. So for that, you can change in the settings and save it in any folder you want. So let's say I save it with name MACD set. If I reset it, you can see my take profit is reset to the default value of 50. Now, if I want to load my previously saved inputs, so I just have to click on load and I have to go to desktop and I will just select this MSCD set. It will load my saved input file and fill up the input values accordingly. Okay. Now let's come to our first tab, which is testing. So it basically asks you how much capital you want to put while you are back testing. Means if I want to start back testing three months back, what should be my starting capital when I am going to perform the back testing? So here I have put 10,000. See the drop down. You can choose only long, only short, and both long and short trades. We can specify the deposit currencies as well. We can ignore these parameters like optimized parameter and genetic algorithm for now. We can also ignore the optimization tab because that is more advanced level of backtesting. And I will cover that in my next videos. So just wait till then. Okay, so let us click on OK. Now there are other options as well. As you can see, the symbol properties, open chart, and modify expert. So if you are developing the expert advisor by yourself, if you click on modify expert, it will directly open the source code for you so that you can modify and run the test again. If you click on symbol properties, it will show you trade digits, stop level, and other details. So now let's start our pack testing and let's see how it is going to place the trades in simulated environment. Now let me press the start button. It will take some time. Let's wait till then. So as you can see, it has started our back testing because the price is moving up and down. So there are two modes you can use in back testing. One is with visual mode, one is without visual mode. So we have started the back testing with visual mode because we have clicked on this checkbox visual mode. In visual mode, we can see in the chart that how the current simulated market is fluctuating with the price and how it is going to place the trades in current market. So this particular slider basically controls the speed of the chart. If I slide it towards right, it will load the chart faster. So let me put it to the maximum speed. As you can see, it has placed a couple of trades and close them as well. So if you go to the results tab, you can see our first trade was placed at 7th February 1847. And then due to trailing stop loss, it was modified a couple of times. And finally, it hit the stop loss. On the next trade, you can see the take profit was hit. So you can scroll down and at the bottom, you can see how much total profit you have made so far. Like I can see here, we have made total of $61 of profit. So let's continue our testing further. So if you want to see it in the graph, how your balance is increasing, so you can click on this graph tab. So as you can see, 
our balance smoothly increased up to this point and after that we had a stop loss hit which drag our balance a little bit Our backtest is about to end. Let's wait for the final result. Okay, so as you hear the sound, that indicates our backtesting has finished and it's time to check the result. So for that, you have to click on the reports tab and you can see we have made $92 of profits in the last three months. And our profit factor is 1.65, which is not very bad, I would say. Now, there are a couple of important parameters you have to see in this report. First is the modeling quality. So as you can see, I have no mismatch chart errors. That means I am using the 99% modeling quality, but you cannot achieve this with MT4 demo account. For that, you have to set up your MT4 terminal with 99.99% modeling data. I will show you in my another video how you can do that. But for now, let's check on other parameters. Like we have a gross profit of $233 and gross loss of $142. 94% trades of our long position were profitable and we have a drawdown of only 1.75%. You can check other parameters as well, like the largest winning trade average, maximum consecutive wins, consecutive losses, etc. So you can save this report. Like if you save this report, you can see a nicely formatted HTML page is generated with the graph as well as all the trade details and the final report we have just seen. Now, I would like to tell you a few important tips which will be very useful while you are doing the back test of your expert advisors. If your expert advisor is not placing any trade, that means you must have some kind of errors either in settings or in the expert advisor itself. So you can check those errors on the journal tab. Like we can check if our expert advisor had any error during the backtest. So if you open the journal tab, you can see there are a couple of order modify errors and you can also see at which point of time trades were opened. So this gives an overall idea how you can backtest your export advisor in empty port terminal. Now another mode of backtesting is when you want to perform the faster backtesting, you can select open prices only and then uncheck this visual mode. So it won't visually show you the back testing and it will only show you the results, but it is less accurate than tick data. I will always prefer you to select the tick data for actual back testing. Let me show you if I click on start, how the back testing will perform. So as you can see, nothing was updated in the chart, but if you check on the results, you can see there are a couple of trades which were placed. Now, if you closely watch these trades, you cannot see the modify order this time because this time the expert advisor was running every one hour. So during that time, it missed the trailing opportunities. So as I said, in open price testing, it is not accurate. So if your expert advisor is designed in such a way that it should only perform in every candle setup then only you should use this option to test your expert advisor faster you see the report it also differs very much from the tick data report we have just seen i hope you find the information helpful and insightful in your trading journey like i always say trading is a continuous learning process and there is always something new to discover Always remember to approach trading with the discipline, patience, and sound risk management strategy. Keep learning, keep growing. Lastly, remember to subscribe my channel for more trading content and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. 
Also, feel free to comment with any questions or suggestion for the future topic you would like us to cover. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.